you'd see molten steel, molten steel running down the channel rails, like you're in a foundry. The fires got very intense down there and actually melted beams where it was molten steel that was being dug out. It's this fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat into one single element. And almost like a chunk of lava from Kilauea or Iceland where they're very sharp but, but breakable shards on the end here. You saw it's steel, some of the thickest steel I've ever seen, bent like a pretzel. And you just couldn't imagine the force that that took. Where the grapplers were, were pulling stuff out, uh, big sections of iron that were literally on fire on the other end. They would hit the air and burst into flames, which was uh, pretty spooky to see. There was even a point where, um, you would create an air pocket by moving the steel, fueling the fires on the ground, it would ignite cars and cars would just blow up. But, you know, these underground fires were just uh, like the fires of hell. This is how it's been since day one. Oh, it's unbelievable. And this is six weeks later, almost six weeks later. And as we get closer to the center of this, it gets hotter and hotter. It's probably 1,500 degrees. We've had some small windows into, um, what we thought was a bore at some point, and it looked like a, uh, an oven, you know, it was just roaring inside. And it was just a bright, bright reddish orange color. See that stuff he's pulling out? What was that, Chief? You're gonna hold, we're gonna hold off on the water. See the stuff he's pulling out? Yeah. It's red hot. If we hit it too much steam, you won't be able to see what he's doing. Great. You see how this debris is still smoking? That's from the fires that are still burning. Eight weeks later, we still got fires burning. Every now and then, one of the pieces of equipment will dig in, they'll open up a small area, the oxygen will rush in, and you'll get this plume of brown, black smoke coming up. That's because that fire just got more oxygen. So, I mean, these things are burning. At one point, I think they were about 2,800 degrees. Underground, it was still so hot that molten metal dripped down the sides of a wall from Building 6. There were fires of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit below the ground. And all of a sudden, he comes out of this little tunnel, screaming, wait till you see what I found. And he pulls in ministers and uh, officials, and there, this cross is fully extended, melted together with the intense heat. The two beams were never initially part of the same structure. Heat literally melted them together. And the piece of metal that's draped over was molten metal that had literally fallen over one of the arms. Steel-toed boots is one of the biggest things. Um, steel-toed boots? Steel-toed boots. Out, still on the rubble, it's still, uh, I believe, 1,100 degrees. The guy's boots just melt within a few hours. Uh, it was literally steaming. Your boots would melt in certain areas. That's how hot it was. The steel was coming out red in certain areas from the first couple of weeks, at least.